This is the first leaky weir I built. Now the purpose of a leaky weir is to try and move towards greater water retention on the property. So this gully here, it hasn't actually flown for three years, but it, it flowed the, the previous three years during the wet season. Um, so it can go for years without flow, but then it might just go for a year without flow. So the idea is that I try and build something which is a lot like a dam, but you don't try to, so hard to make it leak. Don't, sorry. <laughs> you don't try so hard to not make it leak. <clears throat> so what I do is I try and build it up as high as possible rather than digging it down. When you, when you normally dig a dam, you dig it down to the clay layer underneath and you try and put it down into the clay. Instead what I'm doing is I'm building a wall up higher and finding some way to seal it reasonably well such that when you get the, the gully flowing the water fills the weir. It doesn't just fill the weir, but it soaks out into all of the topsoils in the area. And so the majority of the water is not actually in the weir itself. It's in the soils around it, and it's watering all of the trees and things around it. And it provides a much bigger reservoir even than what a dam would because the water's all out in the soils. Now this one is built quite differently to previous to, to subsequent ones I built but this one just had a couple of logs and some ro rocks and I had a bit of clay from the um, the house pad up there that I brought down and I bought in some what they call embankment material which is basically clay mixed in with road base sort of thing and so I built it with that there was a very small existing pond which has since got a lot bigger that had some reeds in it in the middle there and I managed to build all this without disturbing the existing pond which would be impossible to do in st standard dam building uh, methods. So the th difference between a weir and a dam is you need a lot less material than you do for a dam. If you build a dam I would have had to have built it this high and made the spillway come right around up there or something. And to have made the spill the, the dam this high, I would have needed about three times the amount of material, which meant I would have either had to buy a lot more or dig a bloody great big hole in there in order to get the material. So by making it a weir, I can it helps me to lift the whole thing up rather than digging it down. Now, the secret of making a weir is to use a geofabric over the top. Now this geofabric here, <clears throat> this is called grass roots. And what I do with it, what I did with it on this one, is after I'd basically built the dam, I put about 100 millimetres or 4 inches of topsoil. Then I put down the grass roots geofabric pinned it down so it couldn't move and then laid about another 50 mil of topsoil over the top and planted it all up. So this was built about five years ago and since then it's overflowed numerous times. One time during the big floods we had in 2013 I had 40 centimetres of water flowing, a very fast water flowing over this and over that full length of it, there was so much water coming down here that if I had tried to walk across that road there, I would have been taking my life in my hands. And, the, and this was not damaged, basically. There was a couple of little things here and there, but basically it wasn't damaged. So it is possible to build a weir out of dirt and not have it get washed away in the floods. So we'll go up and have a look at the next weir I built after this one. <clears throat> the next, the weir I built after this one was basically built in a different way. I didn't have clay to use for the weir. 
instead what I did was I, I built the dam wall out of, well I scraped off the topsoil and just used subsoil that I built the, the wall out of. Then with a backhoe, I dug a trench right through the middle of it from passed out the wall that way to passed out the wall that way all the way through it and, and maybe 60 or more centimetres into the soil underneath and then I put a plastic membrane into that trench and backfilled it. So what effectively I did was I created this impermeable barrier across there but it still leaks because the water flows through the topsoil around the sides and underneath so it still leaks but this gully hasn't flowed for three years and these are wetland plants here, these are sedges and they only grow in places where the soil is quite moist so the weir, it's, this weir it's out here it, it took about six months to drain but even now, two and a half years after it went empty probably because of the amount of water that was in all the, sub, the soils and stuff there's still wetland plants growing here. Although it's now quite dry, the wetland plants are still surviving. So we can just go up and have a quick look at this weir. So this is the second leaky or seepy or weepy weir that I built. And it drained in about six months. You can see that I haven't made a, a massive hole. That's where I took all the soil from. And it's just subsoil, there's not much clay in it. Uh, but this wall, with, with the plastic membrane in it has worked very well. And you can see that in the bottom there's also sedges growing in there. There's wetland plants growing in the bottom of the weir. And they've been there for a, a couple of years now because the water flows down into the bottom and it just collects a little bit of water from rain in the bottom. Next we'll go and have a look at how nature can build a leaky weir. So we'll go and check that next. Now what you've just seen is the third leaky weir I built in the same process as the second one. But that's not what I want to show you. What I want to show you is where I'm standing here is the ground level before I built that weir. Now there's been all this erosion here, if you look in here, and most people would go, oh, all this erosion, it's horrible, we hate erosion, it's unnatural. Well, erosion is a natural process too. And what happens is the water flows over here and falls and gets turbulent and stuff, and it picks up the dirt and carries it off down, further down the gully. And in the process, this area here can gradually keep moving further and further up the gully. This, this highly eroded section here is about 40 metres long. 40 metres of highly eroded section. <clears throat> but one thing you can see here while we're at it, is if you have a look at down at this, these weirs, instead of using um, geo geofabric, I thought I'd go with something cheaper and I've just used about 75% shade cloth. So that's what stops the weir being eroded by high flowing water. The worst that will happen is it'll take away 50 millimetres of topsoil un until it exposes that. So those sort of things are no trouble to repair. So we'll go for a walk down. <clears throat> so what you just saw was down, further down the gully from that eroded section. So this is 40 metres down, you've seen all the erosion. Now what's happened is that all of these grasses just naturally grew across the gully. <clears throat> and as the material gets picked up in the turbulence of the water flowing down here 
it washes it down here and it just gets collected in the grass. So over a period of, I have no, no idea how long, that grass has been collecting the material that gets eroded out of this section up here in the gully. And it's created a wall. We have effectively a dam wall here. It's about oh, 15 metres wide or across. And this, what was an eroded section of gully, has turned into a leaky weir. And this holds water for about three or four months after the gully flows. So erosion can be your friend if you just get to, if you just use it and act in harmony with how nature works. Nature can, can, can produce these leaky weirs all on their own. So if you have that sort of erosion happening, you don't have to go throwing rocks in it and trying to fill it up and doing all those sort of things. Just plant something downstream from it that can collect all the sediment you might help it with a few bales of hay or something or other that it can collect all the sediment and over a period of time so long as there's this long grass growing on it over a period of time it will build a dam wall for you and you'll end up with a beautiful little leaky weir that might last hold water for months